We as lawyers are unifying our efforts. Brian Claypool is among a group of out-of-state and local attorneys working as a team on one October lawsuits. Let's get to the bottom of what went wrong with the security at Mandalay Bay and then how can we improve that to prevent this from happening again. The LA-based attorney represents a number of survivors, clients he can relate to. I still have my wristband on that I wore uh, at the concert. Claypo is not only fighting a legal battle for one October victims, he's also helping those struggling with trauma from the shooting. He started a nonprofit called Route 91 Strong, specifically aimed at providing financial help for survivors who do not qualify for the Las Vegas Victims Fund. And I said, if I make it out of here, I will make sure to help everybody in this venue because I know exactly what they went through. As for the pending lawsuits, most attorneys have decided to remove the estate of gunman Stephen Paddock from their complaints and only go after MGM Resorts International and live entertainment. Well, especially because in the past week or so, we found out that the estate is a lot smaller than everyone thought. It's important that through litigation, we don't deplete what is there. And that Michelle Teagle is also an out-of-state attorney from Texas representing hundreds of survivors. Both she and Clape will believe removing Paddock from the lawsuits will only benefit their clients. We think it's the right thing to do to have that withdrawn so that it saves the assets of Paddock's estate to then give to the victims. Karen Castro, 8 News Now. By the way, the sole heir of Paddock's estate is his mother who has waived her rights to his assets. Still remains unclear which victims will benefit from the gunman's estate.